Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I wanted to show you today how to solve a linear system using the TI-36X Pro. It's really easy. It handles when you have one point of intersection or parallel lines or coinciding lines. And so I wanted to show you really quickly how to do that. Um, what you're going to do is push the second function button and then you're going to click on the sys solve right here. I'm showing you two systems equations today, but of course you could easily do this with uh, three by three systems because that's a choice that you have there. I'm going to do two by two systems, I'm going to hit enter, and then it's going to let me enter my values for my coefficients for my x and y's, um, as well as whether I enter a plus or a minus here and my numbers over there. So let's look at our first system, it's a messy answer, so it'll be kind of awful to solve by hand but it's no big deal on this one. So we're gonna have two, and then every time I put a number in, I'm gonna hit enter, and it's gonna move on to the next one. There I could put plus or minus. I just, I wanna keep the plus, so I can use my arrow over if I don't wanna change it, or I can hit enter, either one of those. Then I'm gonna do five for y. I'm gonna hit enter, and then I'm gonna be put over here uh, up to enter my 15. I'm going to hit enter, it's automatically going to take me to the next one. If I want to put a fraction in, I can do that. Um, one half it goes in there. I then have a minus, and then I have three, and then I have finally the 12. And then I'm just going to hit enter to get down to the solve and hit enter one more time. And there's my point of intersection. Very messy answer, very easy with this calculator. Now those values that I just put in will be saved if I don't clear it. So if I was to go back in right now, hit enter, it would go back and it would show me those values. How you can clear those really quickly is to click, push your on button and hit clear a couple of times and that's going to clear out your memory, clear all of that out. You can start fresh. Second function, sys solve my two by two, I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to go ahead and do the next one where the lines are parallel, which means there's no point of intersection. So how does it handle that? Two, enter, then I have minus three y, I'm looking at this problem right here, minus three y, and then I have equals 17 again, enter, and then I have negative two down here, and then plus 3y and 10. And that is a system that has no that has no solution. And as soon as you hit enter, it's going to show you no solution. That means that the lines, if you were to draw them, would be parallel. So it's going to show you that no solution answer. The next one is very similar problem to the last one, except that I changed the 17 up here to negative 10 so that I would get something that is actually coinciding lines. So I'm not going to clear that out. It's going to be easy for me to go in and change this. <clears throat> I'm going to hit enter and it's going to take me back into that. And I'm going to use my arrows to just get over to where I want to make a change. I want to change that 17 to negative 10. Everything else in my problem <clears throat> is the same. So I'm just going to head on down to solve and hit enter. And this time those lines it says it has infinite solutions, which means if you drew it, it would be coinciding. Simple, super easy. But I know for some people, you may be getting systems that look like this, and you're like, hey, I can't, I don't know how to enter that. So remember, if you want to enter, a, do something like this, all you have to do is move that 3x to the other side. That would look like negative 3x plus y equals 1. So you can rearrange your equation so that you can use this calculator. Just a matter of getting the x and y over there on the left and the number over there on the on, by itself. I'm going to clear because I think I did I did some similar stuff. Yeah, so I can just go back to this one. I have 2x minus 3y equals negative 10 on the top. And when I rearrange this, I now have negative 3, enter, and then plus 1y if I don't see a coefficient, I assume it's 1, and then um, I have 1 over here. And now if I hit enter, it tells me my system solution is 1, 4. So it came out for a very nice one. This for top one was very nasty, and these other two were special cases. All of those can be handled quite easily with this calculator. All right, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time.